Hello everyone, hello. This year is dedicated to Ili Nishmas Rachel Leia Bas, Reb Chaim Tzvi. We're learning the Sefer Avas Chesed, and we finished the introduction and the foreword, the Hakdama and the Psicha, and now we're up to Chelk Rishon. And in the Chelk Rishon, like the first section of the actual Sefer itself, beyond the introductory uh, comments, the Chavetz Chaim talks about the Halachos, of the mitzvos of chesed, the halachos of lending money, the halachos of paying back, paying one's workers on times, etc. And so that's, that's what the first section is. There are ten prakim here, ten chapters within the halacha section. And uh, so, so we'll, uh, we'll begin. This is a chel rishon, dine mitzvahs halva'a, the halachos of lending money, perak rishon. Okay. So the Chavetz Chaim starts as follows. Mitzvah sasei mina Torah, the halvos lani achenu shenemar im kesef taves ami es hani imach. There's mitzvah in the Torah to lend pe- to people who need money. Oh, now it says im im means if. This we've discussed uh, before, and the Chavetz Chaim quotes visa b'mechilta. It says in the Medrash to call im shevet Torah rishus u'shlo shemehen chov v'zechad mehen. In general, the word im means if. And it's a rishus. That means if you want to, you can do this. But here, no. There are three examples where the word im doesn't mean if, it means when. Meaning you have to give stuff, you have to lend money. It's not that if you want to, you, that you choose to. You have to. It's a, it's a mitzvah. Oh. And the Chavetz Chaim continues. Virayan, and a proof that it's a real mitzvah, and not just a rishus, it's not voluntary. Mimashem kasuv Later on in Chumash Devarim, V'havei tavi tenu, and you shall lend him. Derech tzivui. It says it's a tzivui. So we see from the Pasuk in Re'eh in Chumash Devarim that it's a tzivui. So so to it will interpret im kesav tavi as a as a real tzivui. Oh, so this is the mitzvah of uh, lending money. Now, it's interesting, and this we've also discussed earlier, but now we'll see what the Chavetz Chaim's uh, comments uh, on it. Um, as follows. Why does the Torah say im if it means when? The Torah should have said when. It's a command to, to lend money. So the Chavetz Chaim brings um, two approaches. He says as follows. The Pasuk continues. It says, Im kesav taveh asami es he'ani imach. Oh. And the Pasuk continues and it says, Mesayimbo lo tiyelo lo kinoshe. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't act as a creditor against him. You shouldn't demand repayment. We'll get to this later, Bezos Vashem. That you're not allowed to uh, demand the repayment, and yeah, you know, if he owes you the money, so he pays you back when he's supposed to. But the oppressive nature of going demanding the money back, the Torah puts limitations on that. So the Chavos Chaim says as follows: Tahainu. Fascinating answer. The Chavetz Chaim says, the Pasuk is talking about lending lending uh, money. And when it comes to lending money, so there's a halacha, you can't act as an oppressive creditor and demand, if you know the guy doesn't have the money, you can't go and demand and demand. Okay. If you lend somebody an object, a kli, he borrows, you know, he borrows something, he borrows your measuring cup or something, well there... If he has your object, you're out to demand it back. That's the bain. He can't hold on to that. A halva, if you lend somebody money, they're allowed to spend the money. That actual money, the actual hundred dollars you lent him, he's allowed to spend. That's called milva lehotza nitna. A loan is made to be spent. He's not going to repay you that exact money. When he gets money, he'll repay you. If he doesn't have the money now, it's oppressive to demand the money back. But if it's, if it's your item, you're allowed to ask for it back. So the Chavetz Chaim says a very beautiful Chiddush that why does the Torah say im? The Torah says im not about the mitzvah of lending. The mitzvah of lending is an obligation to lend money. It says im because the Torah means if you lend money, then 
the end of the Pasuk is relevant. The end of the Pasuk says, don't be an oppressive creditor and demand repayment. But if you're lending an object, let's say a kli, then you are allowed to demand it back. So the first explanation the Chavetz Chaim gives is that the word im refers to the end of the Pasuk, and it means if you lend money, then the end of the Pasuk kicks in, as opposed to if you lend an object. Very fascinating answer. Then he gives another answer, similar. The Chavetz Chaim says, V'od yesh gefaresh b'pshitus to kaiza al ami. It's referring to the phrase ami. If you lend money to a fellow Jew. And therefore it says, Lo tiel lo You can't be an oppressive creditor.